So if you ever wondered how to back up your Git repository, one way is by creating a mirror repo for it. And as its name is suggesting, the mirror repository is the exact same clone of the main repository, just that we have to keep it updated. So stick with me to find out more about this. What's up guys medium guy here and in this video we'll see how to create a mirror for our repository backing up our code and later we'll see how to keep the mirror repository updated if ever we had any change in the main repository so without any delay let's get down to work so the first thing I need to do is create an empty repository which later will mirror the main repository into that so I'll go to github.com and so hitting the plus button I'll try to create a new repository and I'll name it mirror-4yt and without making any change in the configurations I'll just go ahead and hit the create repository button. So next thing just by using the official documentation I'll just go ahead and clone my main repository providing the dash dash mirror in the command line so I'll just go ahead and copy the command and switch to my terminal and I'll paste whatever I just copied and remove the URL and switching to my main repository I'll just go ahead and copy the SSH URL from that so in back in my terminal I'll paste the URL and hit enter so this is trying to clone my main repository as a mirror and if I hit LS I'll see here that a directory has been successfully created with a dot git at the end so the next thing I have to cd in the directory with the dot git at the end and in here if I hit ls I'll see some directories and files which are holding the information about my main repository. So the next thing I'll have to set a push URL to my newly cloned repository. So I'll copy the command and paste it in my terminal again removing the URL and this time I need to provide the new repository that I just created which I want as my backup repository so I'll just copy the SSH URL of the new repository and simply paste it in my terminal so I'll hit enter and moving forward the official documentations I'll hit git fetch dash p origin and paste it in my terminal and next I'll just simply say git push dash dash mirror so if I hit enter this will try to push all the code in my main repository to my mirrored repository which I just created so if I go ahead and refresh my page I'll see that all the data including all the files and commits and whatever tags if I may have and every other thing has been successfully pushed to the newly created repository. So right now I have successfully created a mirror repository for my main repository as a backup. This can also be done on other instances of GitHub maybe you are running the GitHub as a local service and keep your backup as a Git repository for your main repository. So right now if we have a change in the main repository how do we update our mirrored repository? So for example I'll just go ahead and make a change in my main repository and I'll just remove some text from the readme and I'll just simply hit commit changes and I see that my changes have been successfully pushed to the main repository. So as I see over here the last line has been successfully removed. So moving back to my terminal if I go ahead and say git remote update 
I'll hit enter and wait for the process to be done. And again, I'll just go ahead and push the changes to the mirrored repository. And here I see that latest changes have been pushed to the master branch. And if I just go ahead and check the mirrored repository, the last line of the readme file should be removed. So if I hit refresh, I'll see that the changes have been successfully pushed to my mirrored repository. And this is a simple way to mirror a repository and having a backup from the main repository. So I hope you learned something new in this video. And if you need any detailed information, please just go ahead and ask me down in the comments section. And please do like and hit the subscription button. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.